Nah, nah. Okay, brother. Nah, nah. Let's watch <laughs> this. <laughs> on. Boom. You know those life-changing moments when everything lines up. That was it. We grew up dreaming of living in harmony with the ocean, and by extension, nature. Moments under the surface are just incredible. They drive us to push our limits further and keep fighting for our oceans. All it takes is one moment to redefine your reality and to make your dreams your mission. We are coral gardeners. Crazy. All right, guys. So my name is Tito and Bernicott, and this is my buddy Temon Apul. And today we are here to talk about a crazy moment that we shared uh, together underwater with beautiful humpback whales. And the goal is uh, to tell you about the story and to just like talk about this crazy experience that happened three years ago in the middle of Tahiti and Mooria. But first, before starting to, to talk about the story, could you please tell us a little bit about what you are doing, who you are, and, and what's your job, Timo? Yeah, so um, as of today, I'm doing a conservation photography, and um, I'm based here on Mooria. And so, um, besides taking pictures of the island, I'm a lot in the water, and so I work with, with the humpback whales when it's the season. My father is a marine biologist, and he introduced me to these animals at a really young age. Yeah. Excellent. And my name is Titoen Bernicott. I am the founder and CEO of Coral Gardeners. So we are an organization dedicated to help save coral reef ecosystems around the world. And actually, Temoana was one of the first, one of my first friends to, to help me start the project. At the beginning, we were like spending nights and day to, to film and, and to create the, the videos. And, uh, and Three years ago, I remember receiving a call from you and, uh, and then we, we went on a session in the open ocean that completely changed our life. Uh, tell us a little bit about the story, bro. Yeah, so um, that afternoon I called you. Yeah. I was like, Tit, what are you doing this afternoon? I have some calls that there are lots of whales around Mourea. Okay, and so uh, you told me, okay, bro, let's go. I'm available, we have the boat. So I came to Tit's house took our gear, prepared ourselves, and then we went. And we called a friend that was on a boat, and then he told us, uh, guys, seven. seven whales between Tahiti and Mooria. We were just like, whoa. Yeah, and I called you at noon, because this is when uh, everybody go to have lunch, so no one is out there. Yeah. So we went where we were told to go, and then nothing. <laughs> nothing, no whales. No whales. No seven wheels. At nothing. the beginning, I remember yeah. we just put some music and we're listening music on the boat. Yeah, chilling. It was going to be a party on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you saw yeah. a tuna. And then I saw a tuna. I saw this uh, tuna jump out of the water. And so I brought my spear gun just in case we see fish. Sashimi. And so I told him, okay, Tit, I saw a tuna there. Please drop me. So I went in the water and then I searched for fish. And instead of seeing fish, uh, under me, I saw two whales, two big shadows of whales that were just like traveling under towards Tahiti. So I came back up, I called uh, Tito, I said, Tito, whales, they're here. And then while I was calling him, while I was calling you, bro, yeah. I looked in the water and then the two whales, they were already far ahead. Yeah, yeah. But this is when you got in yeah. and then it turned back. Yeah, at the beginning, you, you told me I saw some whales, but I, I can't see anything and they were leaving and then they they turned back yeah. and they were just straight coming straight to us yeah yeah and uh, yeah i remember being on the boat and timo yeah two whales come come and i was preparing my my water housing i had a, a canon 7d at that time with the little gopro filming at the top and i just go in the water and um, swim towards you and and then i saw the i see the the two whales coming and that was the beginning of, a, of, of my, my best session with, with mammals underwater. 
We how, how long did we spend with with them here? Um, at least 45 minutes. Something eh? like yeah. this, lah. It's la. hard to tell because we were so so, so much happened. So in the moment, so amazed that there's actually there's no time eh, in moments like this. Yeah. But it was a, we spent a lot of times with these whales. Yeah. yeah. And tell us a little bit about like what was really special about that encounter with with those two whales. They were actually not juveniles, but a little bit bigger. Yeah. Quite not big whales. For the adults, but yeah. still big whales. Important size, yeah. And what was special is that we were only two. Yeah, only two of us. In the middle two, of the yeah. ocean, and two of them. And the thing is that they had this uh, infinite playground, yeah. and they chose to come towards us. And then during at least uh, 45 minutes, they were like sticking around back and then and going away, coming back, going away and coming back. And we were as close as this, like they came as close as this. Yeah. A lot of times we could have like touched them, but uh, I mean we didn't, but we could have, they were right here. They were, yeah. And what was so special is the these moments, they came towards us and they were like putting them, themselves yeah, vertically, up. Just, just like us, yeah. straight up. And sometimes we were playing with them, <laughs> and then they were doing the same thing, imitating us. Yeah, I, I, I like after school. Sometimes my father used to pick me up uh, by boats, and we were going to swim with whales, with calf. But that's for sure, by far, the the most crazy interaction I had with a with a whale. And um, and what's was special also is that uh, I was. So we were switching, I was at the beginning filming and taking pictures and you were without fins, only like free diving barefoot in the water like this and, uh, and then we were switching, I was free diving, you were taking pictures and the fact that we didn't have any fins, uh, we couldn't really swim and um, we were the, the whales, they were so curious. I think yeah. that's what really uh, caught my attention this day, it, it was their curiosity because Maybe they never saw someone barefoot with, without fins, but they were coming at us and we didn't need it to, to, to swim or to do anything. They were just coming back and sometimes they were leaving. And I remember we were like, okay, that's the end yeah, of that's the, over. Of, of that's over. And then we were swimming like four or five meters deep and we, we see the two whales just straight parallel coming straight to us. Mm -hmm and putting themselves vertically yeah, like you said every time it was crazy yeah. every time they come back we're like bro what and yeah there was and one of them with black patterns yeah and another uh, i remember really with like big eye watching at us and i remember at one moment i was at the surface and uh, the whale was like this in front of me and i was trying to do this with my arm and she looks like she was imitating in in some ways and uh and for sure I had at least one or two moments that were just I never heard experienced yeah. this with a whale in the past. Mm. That was just crazy. But for me the moment that was the most the, the craziest one was a little bit before the end, before they, they left us. You were just in front of me, I was behind the camera taking pictures and filming and the two whales were like on every side of you, you were in the middle. They were watching me and the whales were facing the other way and uh, I, I was like wow okay everything is, is just crazy it's like they are doing a choreography like a dance <laughs> ballet yeah. and the Moana at some point I remember you were starting to turn around mm. and to face towards me mm. because yeah all of you at the beginning were facing the other way and while you were doing that the, the whales at the same time they were turning with their Fins like this yeah. and you you had your arms like this and I was watching my screen my camera and I was like is this even real like is this happening and I never <laughs> film or saw anything like this and, I, and I, at the end you I, I remember seeing you in the middle of those two whales just like if you were doing just a dance that you yeah. tried and That's trained nice. for it and that was maybe I, I remember telling myself that was the most crazy mm -hmm. thing I, I ever saw in my life yeah. Yeah, well, the, these two whales were in front of me, yeah. and so I just uh, let my air out just to sink, you know, yeah. in between them. And uh, I had these two huge creatures here, and then, like you said, they were turning, and then they were looking at me. And then while I was sinking down, 
um, I knew you were behind me. Yeah. So I thought, oh man, Tit, look at this. Look at what's oh, happening. Bro. I was yeah. taking pictures and filming and everything was like mm. unreal. And so that's when I, I thought, man, okay, I got to turn around and, and look at you, you know? Yeah. So I turned around and I was looking at the whales <laughs> and then I, I faced you. Yeah. And then it was a little bit weird at first to know that I have these whales behind, these whales behind, behind and me. I, I don't see them. Did you feel like danger? Uh, no, of course not. No danger. No, no danger at all. But um, it was not danger. It was mostly... Um, excitement it, yeah bro it's I, crazy when you think about it because those big whales they can do it like they just by doing this with the water it can mm -hmm. smash us but when when you when there is this mutual trust you don't feel danger huh? mm -hmm. I, and you you guys were really comfortable even the whales yeah. yeah and we have spent at least 30 minutes with them yeah knowing that them moment so yeah we got to see how it was going, how they yeah. were with us, interacting, and so the the trust was uh, had like the trust was was there, you know. Yeah. So no fear, but more yeah, lots of trust and excitement, of yeah. course. And since you're a little boy, you you're swimming a lot with your your father, which is who is a, a, a marine biologist specializing in in whales, and you had so many interaction, but. I remember after that, those 45 minutes with those two whales, we came back on the boat and we were like just mind blown, like what just happened and what, 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 what was so unique about this. I remember us coming back at the house, looking at the footage while preparing the dinner and it was like unreal. Unreal bro. Unreal. unreal. And as of today, it, it is still unreal. Yeah. I look at the footage and I still think, man, it, it looks like Photoshop, you know, it does not look real. Yeah. And so these, these are the moments for me eh, that I think it brings you back to reality, to what you can find in the wildlife, you know. Yeah. Because today we are developing, constructing, and sometimes we forget that when we immerse ourselves in a forest or in the ocean, we can have moments like this with these creatures, moments that are yeah. so pure and yeah, that yeah. real moments that you're out of the time, there's no time, and there's no worries, yeah. there's nothing else. And that's why I, I remember all those years we were waiting for that moment. And I remember mm. when we saw those whales interacting, you told me, Tits, this is it, this now is the moment. <laughs> and the fact of not having anything but a board short mm. was, was really important for us, just saying that you don't need tons of shit like you just yeah. need yourself and you you can find a way to coexist and spend beautiful moment with 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 the marine life mm -hmm. and uh, i'm so glad we were able to capture in photo uh, uh, and video those moments so we can share that and, and try to to inspire people because i think today people they're gonna protect or do things for for the things they love mm -hmm. and so it's so important to be able to show the beauty and the importance of of the whales, the coral reef, the sharks, and, and get people inspired. Uh, so they, 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 they're gonna take action and, and, and do something for them, you know? Yeah. So I think that exactly. that's what's beautiful about it. It's just, it's in our mind, like one of the craziest moments of our life, but also we can share it and show that humans and nature are one and we need to coexist. And that, that's the only way to go. Yeah, that's when we feel alive. That's when we feel alive. And that's what uh, we are doing with core gardeners also. Yeah. Because these whales, they travel from Antarctica to our islands to mate and to give birth in our yeah. warm waters. And so they um, seek shelter in yeah. our islands, in the, coral the reef. shallow waters of the coral reef. Because out there, there are killer whales, there are uh, white, great white sharks, all types of sharks. Yeah. And it's, our islands yeah. gives it's here that they can find the safety to rest mm. and give birth for the future oh, no, generation. It's, it's of true, whales. the coral reefs are playing such a crucial uh, role into their protection because, like, like you said, the, the vast ocean, the enormous ocean, is they are killer whales, they are sharks, and the, the mom just giving birth to their baby, they need sometimes some playground to rest, like resting mm. areas. And sometimes in, in front of coral gardeners' headquarters, we have a mom and a calf, a baby whale coming during one, two, three days. We can hear them at night breathing 
and they are just in the bay inside the coral reef protection barrier and that's an important place for them to to rest here yeah. yeah for sure and um and i think yeah those moments they are also really inspiring us to to continue our journey and for me that's why i started coral gardeners it's because like underwater landscapes and ecosystem corals whales shark they are just fascinating and having the opportunity to spend moments like this it, that's what that's what gives you the, the motivation yeah. the, the the inspiration the power to just continue because it's not easy every day but i'm so glad bro we we were able to spend this moment and i can't wait for the next time mm. i don't know if we're gonna be able to spend another moment like this but i i'm so glad we did and uh, up to the next one bro exactly bro yeah brother